everybody. How are you doing today? It's Kim from K Diamond Paints. It's St. Patrick's Day today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, it's St. Patty's Day. I know just about nothing about St. Patrick's Day. It's really, um, it's really discouraging how little I know. I know, like, third grader basics. I know you're supposed to wear green. But if you watch my videos, I own nothing green. My wardrobe is like pink to red, so I'm already failing. But um, beer, you're supposed to drink a lot of beer. If I drink really two sips out of a beer, I'm already done. So again, failing on that one. I know they dye the Chicago River green. That's points. I just know that. And um, bagpipes. One, two, three, four! I know bagpipes. We were actually at a wedding once where um, the bride, she surprised the groom at the, um, at the church with a bagpipe player. And in the church, you guys, the big ceiling, oh, it was really fantastical. It was really great. We went to a wedding once where they had um, a bell choir with the, oh, that was, okay. Sorry, sorry, okay. We're getting off track here. So, St. Patrick's Day. So this is from Amazon. I got a very cool St. Patrick's Day diamond painting. Normally I, Normally I wouldn't have because I just, green is just not my thing, but this is really gorgeous. So I'm excited for it. I am. And what we're going to try and do is hopefully this is an unboxing slash post review all on my good friend Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment. Hi, in case she's watching, but if you don't know her channel, I don't know why you wouldn't, but you have to go check out her channel. She is the best channel for YouTube, um, YouTube diamond painters. It's just amazing. But right, so I got the idea from her to do an unboxing and post review. At this point, though, as you can see, I'm just unboxing. I don't know how it turns out in the end. So we're just going to have to keep, you know, our fingers crossed that it turns Oh, oh, the luck of the Irish that it turns out, right? Okay, so as we're unboxing this, so I did look up St. Patrick's Day because I was incredibly embarrassed by my knowledge. Lack of, lack of knowledge. And St. Patrick lived in the 5th century. March 17th is the traditional death date for him. And he is um, the patron saint of Ireland. That's pretty nice. As you can see, it's lots of green. Wow, it's 23 colors? It's 23 colors, you guys. You can already see there. Well, it's in the packaging. Let's just get it opened. What else? When I was looking it up, what else did I know? Oh, I did know one of the... Ooh, I did know one of the Irish blessings, which was um, the one that starts off, May the road rise up to... Me. Well, I'll just try this down here. May the road rise up to meet you. I'm sorry to say I did not know that was an Irish blessing. That is a nice blessing. What was another one that they had? Oh, may leprechauns dance on your bed and give you sweet dreams. I don't know. Sounds good. So you can see this is tiny, right? This is a little 30 by 30. I wanted to really give myself a fighting chance because I knew I wanted to try and do an unboxing slash post review so we could celebrate all of St. Patrick's Day in one day and of course it's all shades of green. This has just um uh, well this this is not a typical to toolkit because I would say absolute basic is a pink pen with um with no other end on it and this has a four placer do you see that and um some bag it feels like kind of a few baggies in there so that's I'll take it that's nice. Are you ready to see? Oops, I've got it upside down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I had it right side. <laughs> Maybe I see I had my two sips of beer already. That's that's the way that goes. Let me bring you down a little closer so you can see it a little better. There, how is that? 
Isn't that a pretty little 30 by 30? It's the Tree of Life. The Irish like, Tree of Life. I looked that up as well because I didn't want to be just out here talking trash. <laughs> it's um representative of strength and long life and wisdom. And there's this whole story about how they believe they came from trees. It's really nice. That's really got a good stick. So... Let me try and, you know what, let's just pull it all the way off for right now. So you can get no glare at all. And let me pull this up so you can see. Look at all the colors in there. There are no guide circles. This is just a sweet little, so it's got the scroll work here. It's got the knots in the corners with the tree of life. And what did I say for colors, you guys? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller, Bueller, 23, but look at this key. So here is, oh, no way. I'm not falling for it. I, oh, I almost stuck it to the camera. So let's, what did I do for the corner? I'm going to be nice here. So if you ever take this stuff off, one side is sticky, one side is not. And if you saw my last, yeah, that's not the sticky side. Last video when I tested that out, I did a really bad job of it, so. Here we go. But it just creates such a glare when you're trying to see the image. If I can take it off, I will. Okay. So, oh, look it. Do you, did I even say this already? Look, it's a 30 by 30, and it has um, two keys. The extravagance. Wow, the extravagance. There we go. There's the thumbnail. It's okay. It's a tiny little thumbnail on a 30 by 30. What do you what do you want from it? And then here is the key. Look at this really oh, really gorgeous key. Isn't that so clear? Really nice all the way down to 23. You know what? I wonder if I like this image. As I said, I really wasn't going to do um, a St. Pat's Day because I just don't like all green. So I wonder if I like this one because it has the oranges in the background. Because I love this image. I think this is sweet. Should we check out the colors? Is anybody interested in knowing if this is a true 30 by 30? It actually looks like it, doesn't it? I'm just interested just for stuff and giggles. No, it's not. 30s 30s out there. But I always say, you know what? I just don't it doesn't really it doesn't really bother me. I never expect them to be right unless it's a custom. That's a whole nother story. Anyway, let's keep going. I want to look at these drills. Should we pull back a slight touch? There we go. Now we can have that in the frame and look at the pretty drills. What was another um, blessing? They're called blessings. Oh, experience is the comb that life gives a bald man. <laughs> That's great. Look, here's a tiny little strip here. That's 23. Wow, these are really pretty colors. Is this start at... This is 20. This is one. Here we go. I think it starts at 310. It sure does. So here's what I'm going to say about these 310 right off the bat. Nope, we're going to have to move that out. They are dusty. So if you've ever had really dusty drills, those I'm actually going to clean. I put them into a colander. Maybe I can find the video for you. But put them into a colander and put them onto a cloth to dry out. Mostly they'll dry in the colander, but... Those are pretty dusty. Green. Look, that's almost like my sweater. More green. Ooh, I love that mustard color. That is so pretty. What the yellow? So I think those other colors like that, the yellow and the oranges, are really going to make the green look even prettier. Of course, we've got a ton of greens, we've got browns, we've got 23 stinking colors, and then 
this is 20 this is 21 22 23 they might have just fallen off there that's a really pretty burgundy so okay then we are going to try and get this done now so this is our little 30 by 30 here i'm gonna leave you with this one before i get started maybe we'll do a little kidding up here for a second and that is um it's no use boiling your cabbage twice okay let's see what we get next hi we're doing a little bit of a whip uh, as you can see here, I already did 310 because 310 is boring and let's do something besides that. Not that you can tell. Look, that could be 310 for all you know right now. Um, I did, hopefully I put in for you, the 310 were a bit dusty so I did a bit of a wash. that's really easy to do and they dry really quickly just make sure you put them down onto parchment paper and not a towel because you won't get those little things out of there you'll get some of them out but you won't get a lot of them out put them on parchment and just they air dry but I when I swish it around in the um, colander and I put the towel underneath that usually gets up most of it anyway so I wash them and then I started using them right away this color though is 319 if I bring it up can you see that pretty that's a pretty color I was gonna just use the toolkit that came with it I thought well that would be nice to do but honestly I can't use those green boats anymore they are too small you guys these are my favorite I think this is my overall favorite tool I could go back to a regular um, I can use the pink pens you know the typical pens in the I only use this kind of wax and all that kind of stuff, but these boats are awesome. And I get these from AliExpress. I think it's like a dollar twenty-three. Are you kidding me with this? Dollar twenty-three. Number two. So let's keep going. Um. So sometimes I work. Usually now I work with the most the color that the DMC that has the m most. Um. It has the most that's what that's how you say that <laughs> that has the most um but uh this time we're just gonna go in ascending order how does that sound that's just our new thing for a little 30 by 30 ascending order does that sound good anyone anyone okay then that's what, that's what we're doing and i get to use multi-placing and I better check my camera so that you're just not coming unfocused every time. I think you're far enough away, aren't you? Hopefully, otherwise it's a whole lot of knuckle to be watching. Um, we're going to do just a couple jokes and then we'll just move on to, I don't know, maybe more whip later down the road or... Uh, or the post review. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I am still really hopeful. I thought I had a 30 by 40 and then I was a little bit iffy whether I could get it done just because, you know, you have other things to do in a day besides <laughs> diamond paint, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so we're doing Irish Blessings and this one is, oh, is this not great? Oh, before we do that, just a little, another note. This is skater glue. This is some serious skater glue. Hey. 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 Let's find a two, so here. If you put that two there and you think, oh, that's the wrong two, you can skate that all the way over to here. That's what I call skater glue. So, yeah. Skater glue. I mean, it still works just fine. I'm just letting you know. It's skater glue. Oh, I need more wax in here. Okay. So the Irish blessing is... Uh, uh, uh. As you slide down the banister of life, may the splinters never point the wrong way. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. Let's keep going with this. Okay, we're on to five now. Five is DMC 
632, not that anybody cares, but it is like, um, like milk chocolate or like Cadbury chocolate because it's a really lighter than that. But it's nice. Four was dusty again. So four got the whole wash sieve treatment. So we got some dusty drills here. What are you going to do? The only thing about dusty drills is if you don't wash them, they'll make the wax on your pen, you know, because it's dust. So it coats it. So you have to change the wax out much more often than normal. But uh, we're cruising right along here, you guys. And let me show you a picture. If I didn't, if you didn't notice this before, I didn't notice it before, whatever. When I looked at the key, is that the symbols are one is one, two is two, three is three, and you know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I love that because I, I think I said this last time. If you do the symbol nine on the number five, I'm eventually going to start doing five or nine, you know, nine on nine, five on nine. And it just throws me all off. I'm just like a simple girl, you guys. <laughs> and you can't throw such curveballs at me and expect me to be able to function. So we're doing a little bit of a whip here. To, I wanted to say, though, it is not a whip and wine. We're doing coffee. Because <laughs> it's 9 a.m. and even I draw a line <laughs> in the sand at some point, right? Unless it's mimosa and then it's a whole different animal. The other video I was talking about my Starbucks points on my app. And so I had to tell you when I was going through the line and the barista said to me, oh, you know, you have enough points to pay for this if you'd like. I said, no way. This mocha gets me 100 points. And she said, oh, you're right. That is much better. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Starbucks points is a real thing. If you don't do it, I'm not kidding you. It's a real thing. All right, let's keep going. We're up to nine now, which is now we've changed over from all our numerical to the alphabet. A, B, C, D. And we're at A. I don't know if you care about any of that. But it's going, but this one was dusty. I mean, let's just say it. We've got dusty drills, and so I've had to stop and um, wash them as I keep going along. Not a big deal. But I thought I'd just stop and say, give you another um, Irish blessing. This one is great. I love all of them, but this one just kills me. It says, may you be 40 years in heaven before the devil knows you're dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. That would be indicative of how you spent your life, right? Always trying to run from the trouble you've caused. So, sounds perfect. All right, let's just keep going, you guys. Okay, we have more dusty drills, and I got to say, it's starting to get on my nerves now. Mostly because I've given myself such a tight timeline to finish this. And it's starting to mess with my timeline. So, but once they're washed, they have, you know, a nice little sparkle to them. So, that's good. To pick up our mood, I found another Irish blessing. This one is so lovely. Ready? May you have warm words on a cold evening, a full moon on a dark night, and the road downhill all the way to your door. Oh, that's super sweet. Okay. Let's keep going. We're coming down to it now. I don't know. It's, it's, I'm getting close, but, uh, there has been a lot of stuff getting in the way of my goal of doing a post review. So as of now, I'm like 
even though there's not much to do, I am just, I am running against the clock. So, uh, last blessing, hopefully, before we get to a post review, to, if you're lucky enough to be Irish, you're lucky enough. And clearly, clearly, I do not have that going for me right now. So, I'm going back to fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. Wish me luck. Luck of the Irish. All right, we made it. Unbelievable. This was, <laughs> it's only a 30 by 30, but I am telling you it was Murphy's Law around here. Whatever could go wrong did go, and not in diamond painting. The diamond painting was fine. It was like just regular life. For a while there, I was feeling, I don't know how to put this politely, but. What would you be if you were attached to another object by an inclined plane wrapped helically around an axis? Screwed. Seriously, but it's done. Of course, the biggest pain with this was the dusty drills. They were just dusty, and so I had to keep stopping and um, using that trick with the sieve that I showed you. That's how I. Um, that's how I clean drills. I find it to be the fastest way for me. So, uh, but I just kept every nearly every single package here had to be washed and dried and then I could use it and so that was a tremendous pain but as you can see as the colors go by I mean the colors were really pretty and um the sparkle on it is really nice so that's all good I don't mind any of that and then here's the fun thing with the grill with the grills not the grills the drills I don't I don't know if I've ever paid attention to this before but it's um well, I don't think you can see my writing on this, but 986, 987, and 988, and then 989. I don't know if that's the most um, sequential drills I've had before, but I noticed it. It just sure seemed like it to me. Um, so that was fun, too. The shading was beautiful. I can't believe, I can't wait for you to see... Um, the shading on this, are we ready to see it? Here we go. Okay, here it is, our little St. Patrick's Day gem, our little Irish tree of life. If you can see here, just in case this is showing up better on camera than I think it is, if you see this down here, I um, I didn't, sometimes I put scotch tape around the edges right where it's got the stick still, and because it was a 30 by 30 and I was on a time crunch, I didn't do that, I just went went ahead and did it and I was actually wearing a black <laughs> sweater so all the adhesive was yucky there so I used some of the like goo gone stuff to get the adhesive off there so that's what that is that's not a problem with the canvas so this is a 30 by 30 round are we ready to see it yeah. for a 30 by 30 are you not impressed Look at the knots. I mean, and you can see all the scrolling at the tree and the shading in the tree. So it's 23 colors. The key, I know you just watched this, but we'll do it again. The key is just so stinking clear between the um, numeric and then just the, um, just the alphabet. It's so nice. And then you see those colors, 986, or nine, yeah, nine, um, eight, seven, nine, eight, eight, nine, nine. Isn't that neat? And look at the shading in the tree. This was, I did mostly multi-placing. I think I did show, um, some of this ring around it where I was doing multi-placing, but it didn't really show up. You know, it didn't show up badly that I did multi-placing because it was so little, but it is so, let me pull it up. Can you see how um, confetti it is? So for a little 30 by 30, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, I had to single place most of it and that made it take longer than I thought a 30 by 30 would too. Do I keep saying 30 by 30, 30 by 30, 30 by 30? This size, let's just say this size for the love. Um, 
But yeah, I think the colors like that just turned out beautifully. And then, as I said in the unboxing, I think what really drew me to this, because I'm not so much a green person, is all the sunset in the background colors, because that's beautiful. And this mustard yellow, I really love that color. I forget what it was. I think it was 729, 743, something like that. And look at the sparkle. Can you see the spark? So for all the drills that I had to wash, this is my payoff, this sparkly little beauty. So I would say, honestly, and I think this was um, $9 and change. I'll put it up on the screen again. But if this is your style, if this is your motif, I would get this anyway. You know, it's St. Patrick's Day is done. It's today and then it'll be done. But um, I think this and then in a frame, this is gorgeous. It is just a little, it is just a little gem. I love it. I love how that turned out. All right, you guys. So that is my unboxing whip post review for Amazon St. Patrick's Day Tree of Life. And I want to leave you with one last blessing. Are you ready? This one, I think lots of people know this one, but I just, I love it. I think it's, oh, it's such a wonderful sentiment. And it's perfect for ending this off. It may you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Oh, you guys, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. I hope you had a great one. See you later. Bye-bye.